woman, did you not set the alarm? No, I didn't. I gotta go get ready. Oh, my goodness. Okay, um... It's so embarrassing. Wait, what? Are you following me? Of course. I gotta make sure you put your pants on correctly this time. Listen, Becky, I don't need your help, all right? This is my diary. You could just get the heck out of here, woman. Carl, I would not be following you if you put your underwear on the inside of your pants last time. I don't even wear pants, woman. I don't know what you're thinking. You always wear pants when the camera's on. I want to put you under another pile of rocks. Sounds like you guys need to go to counseling. Shut up, Jim. What do you know about marriage? You'll be single forever. Nobody ever love you. Yeah, Jim. Listen, honey, we're can I please start the video now? If people want to know about my life. I guess I can let you go, Carl. I'm just gonna go water the piles of rocks we got. Oh my goodness, now I remember why I love you. Hey, Suzanne, thanks for the handsicle. Oh, I'm so glad you liked it, I Carl. I finally could scratch my butt. No! Oh, I bet you guys are all curious how I met Becky, the love of my life. We actually met at a wedding. Happened to be my wedding, but um, you know, the, that other woman, she, it was tragic, she got buried by a pile of rocks and set on fire. I don't really know how it happened. Becky, you remember that very much? No, Carl, we met at a bowling alley. I, did you see my hands, woman? You think I could go bowling? What would be the point of that? It's a stupid it's answer. It's those little garbage clippers. That you pick up from the ground. You think I could use those little hook grabber things to pick up a bowling ball? I've seen you do it, Carl. You got a bowling ball for a brain. I'm gonna go into a tree. Stay away from you, you crazy loon. Well, okay, I'll be honest. Becky's not entirely wrong. My wedding did take place. What are you doing? Why are you following me, woman? I just want to be a part of your dino diary, Carl. That's not true. You're just waiting for me to die so you can steal my inheritance. What inheritance, Carl? You got an pile of rocks that are on fire. Maybe for now, but one day I'm going to be a rich carno and you're not going to have any of it, woman, because you'll be under a pile of rocks. What was that? As a pile of ashes. Carl! What? Are you threatening to kill me again? All right, you, I'm going to go finish my diary, babe. I'm just going to get away from this lady and hide in the trees here so no one can find me. Hi, Carl. Ugh. Hi, Bobby. I guess it's about time that we probably get to the heart of the issue. I know you're all here because you want to know about the rocks and the fire. Well, let me tell you a story. When I was a child, my parents were killed by a pile of rocks. I mean, I'm the one who put the rocks on top of them, and, uh, but really it probably wasn't the rocks that killed them. It was the burning inferno of a fire that I put on top of the rocks that were also on top of them. But you know what? That's really my earliest memory. I think I was just born with it. Oh, oh my goodness, Becky, would you get out of here, woman? I was just getting to the fiery part of the story, pun intended. I love this part of the story, Carl. Well, I certainly hope you do, because it's going to be the ending of your story one day, you fart. Unless I burn you first. It's impossible. I'm immune to all sorts of fire and rocks. Ow. You know what they say, rocks and fire may burn my soul, but you can do the work. Bye, Carl. All right, see you later, honey. All right, finally I can Hi, start. Carl. You gotta be joking me! I was about to start another story. You see, when I was a kid, there was really only one thing I was passionate about, and that was fire. And so naturally, the thing that I wanted to do when I grew up was be a fireman. You can imagine my disappointment when I found out they actually got rid of fire. What a disappointment that was, and now I rebel against the establishment, and Spencer tried to keep me in line, and I'll set all of you on fire. I will rule this island in fire, and rocks. Everything will be ash before me, even... Be Becky, what are you doing here? I'm hungry, Carl. 
Yeah, you're always hungry. It's probably why there's so much of you. At least I don't have bumpy skin. That's it. We're not talking for five minutes. Hey, have you guys seen Jeff Goldblum? Yeah, why don't you go check that rock formation over there? Yeah, go tell him hi. Oh, God, do you hear Carl knows where Jeff Goldblum is? Blue, I don't... I don't think he's being serious. Carl's kind of a psycho. Carl's a psycho? Hey, what are you saying over there, you little gremlins? You get back over here. I'll show you as a psychopath. <laughs> Carl, are you picking on those poor raptors again? Hi, Carl. Hey, Bobby, how's it going, man? You know what? I got to tell you guys something. I happen to be very popular on the island. You know... Sometimes I think that people just want to be my friends, so I won't set them on fire and bury them with a pile of rocks. But I like to think it's because of my glowing personality. It's not, Carl. What? Woman, why are you still here? This is my dino diary, Oh, Carl. this is my favorite <laughs> rock right here. Oh, Leslie, how I missed you. We love to go bowling together, you know. Oh, it's what do you mean? It was... <laughs> what? What the heck was that? That was someone having fun, Carl. Haven't you heard of the word fun? What? Why is there a goat? I feel like I'm in a dream right now. What's going on? Would you like me to pinch you? Yeah, good luck pinching me with a little baby arm you got on the side of your body. You got those same baby arms, Carl. Excuse me, I have at least toddler arms, all right? Speaking of kids, Carl, when are we going to start having some of our own? We ain't never going to have kids, honey. I'm not bringing any children to this messed up world. There's a lot of freaks around here. Like you? Excuse me. Yeah. Oh, all right. I guess I'll give that one to you, Becky. But enough about me. I won't talk about me anymore. It's just let's talk about my plans for the future. You see, I dream of a world where we have anti-firemen. Where somebody goes around and sets the firemen on fire. That would be a wonderful world that we could live in full of justice. And smoke full of ashes. You know, maybe this is why Sprinter and I don't get along very much. It's because I'm always trying to set them on fire. It's very hard, though, because he's always hanging out in the water. I almost got him this one time. We're on this island. There was a bunch of these humans in a boat. And then I poured a bunch of oil into the water. I almost got him. So I guess the moral of the story is if at first you don't succeed, just continue trying to burn everything down to the ground until you get what you want. So yeah, thanks for watching, kids. I hope you enjoyed my channel diary, and I hope you got to understand a little bit more about what makes me tick. Carl? What, Becky? Go to sleep. All right, see you later, kids. I'm going to go burn. So let's go to sleep. That's right, Carl. Bye. Bye.